Hello and welcome back to another FC24 player review. Now I know this is quite late for Future Stars Musa, but I still feel like I just wanted to get it out even though he is from level 10 and I think most people are probably closer to level 20. But with that being said, let's get into the review. As always, I start off with the team that I used in this review. And you can see it is a 4-2-4 Serie A and Bundesliga hybrid. Now, my two central mids, Thunderstruck Loftus-Cheek and Future Stars Musa. So let's see my stats after my three rivals games. Now on the screen you can see my stats for Yunus Musa. Played three games, scored four goals and got one assist. So let's head into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay section we go. Okafor into Musa, taking it past Gertruda. I wouldn't really say smashing it home, he sort of dribbled it along the floor. Musa once again using his, well, technically it's not even high agility and balance, but he did feel incredibly agile. Musa into Kane, who does smash it home. Then Okafor into Kane, into Musa. He takes it past the defenders once again. And into the final clip of the gameplay, so I'll be back with the pros and cons in a second. Now that you've seen the gameplay for Musa, moving on to the pros. First of all is his 90 pace. Now as a centre mid, 90 pace is absolutely fantastic. Then he's got 92 shot power. I've gone on about it from day one. Shot power is actually one of the most important stats when it comes to shooting. He's got good passing, just really well rounded. He's got incredible dribbling. He did feel incredibly agile way above his stats actually suggest great at defending he broke up a lot of play but obviously i don't really show that in gameplay because it would be quite boring to watch personally he's got very very good physicals just an absolute tank on the ball and then finally he's got four star skill moves which rounds off what is a pretty good card onto the cons for musa first of all is his medium medium work rate now, in the 4-2-4, it didn't actually seem to affect him too much. But from experience, if you play anything but the 4-2-4, I think he'll just completely suck because medium-medium work rates, I said it in my Tielemans review, just absolutely awful. The, the Just so, so bad. Like Words can't describe how much I hate medium-medium work rates. And then the second con is a 3 star weak foot. If he was 4 star 4 star or 4 star 5 star then this is genuinely one of the best centre mids on the game. So would I recommend using future stars Yunus Musa? And in my opinion I would say yes. He's just a fantastic card in general. He's got very good pace and passing. He's got great shot power. The 92 shot power is just fantastic. On a centre mid, especially as he does have good long shots as well. His dribbling was fantastic. He felt incredibly agile in game. You saw from the goals that he scored, all the goals where he did score, dribbling past the defenders and smashing it home. He's got incredible defending and physicals as well. So not only can he attack, but he can also defend. Then he's got the four star skill moves, which for me is probably a bare minimum at this stage of the game but he does only have a three star weak foot but for me personally I don't think it's enough to not actually use this card especially as he will be able to fit into future evos where he probably will become four star four star or four star five star so this card is absolutely fantastic and I would highly recommend using him if you haven't done so already. I'd like to thank you for watching this player review. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.